Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I kind of decided to just do this impromptu vlog because I'm about to read this book that I just really want to take you guys along for. And the reason is because I feel like it's going to mess me up a little bit. And hey, uh, that sounds like fun, right? <laughs> uh, let me torture myself for your enjoyment. Um, so anyways, this book... Uh, I first heard about it on Instagram from Nina over at The Wandering Reader. She's a great um, account to follow if you are into horror uh, because she has great horror content. And also her t-shirt collection, her t-shirts that she wears are so good. They're so good. But anyways, I just love her. Um, I just love her account. And so I first heard her talk about it. And when I saw her review of it, I put it on my Goodreads. Like, okay. That's one I definitely want to check out. And then just recently, uh, Carol over at Carol Marie Reads, another person who is great for horror recommendations and stuff, she read this book and was like blown away, like was talking about it. And I, so then I was like, okay, I have to just, I have to get this book. I have to read it like right now. And it just so happens that I am on like a little bit of a break um, because I just finished a book yesterday and I'm waiting for the new Grady Hendrix book to come tomorrow. It's supposed to be here tomorrow on release day. So I have some time and this is only a hundred page little book. So I'm going to read it. And that book is, if you haven't heard about it, it is Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. La Roca. And what it basically is, is it's about these two women who meet online in like a chat room and kind of have this relationship and the one starts convincing the other to do some crazy stuff. And I've just heard it just gets wild, that the climax is insane. And like I said, it's 100 pages. So ah, I feel like it's really gonna pack a punch and mess me up quite possibly. Um, so I want you guys to join me. <laughs> so um, today I, I'm pretty much at a place right now where I can probably sit down and read for a little bit. Um, and then Leia does have dance class later and I'm not sure if I'm gonna take her or if Austin's gonna take her. So anyways, I sh basically I should have some time to read this today. And it should go pretty quick because a lot of it um, is just like instant messaging, like conversations. So mm, I'm scared, but I'm also really excited. Uh, and I love this cover because, I mean, look at it. It's just so weird. Ah, it's so weird and creepy. Um, so yeah. Hi, kitty. Hi. So yeah, I am hopefully going to sit down right now and get started on this book. Yeah, let's do it. So I just read the author's note uh, of this, obviously before I've even started. And what he's done in the author's note, I really like. Uh, he's basically like talking about it, this case, um, this situation as if it were like a real thing that really happened and kind of slips you enough information to make you be like, okay, I need to know what happened. Cause so you know that there's two women, they were involved in some sort of online situation. One of them is now going to trial for something and the other one is dead. And you're just like, how did we get here? And I just love that he gives it that sort of um, realistic kind of feeling uh, by treating it as if it were something that really happened. That just makes it, ah, eh, just makes it more fun. So, okay, I'm gonna actually start reading now. So I just finished part one, which is about 30 pages. And in the first part, there's already so many red flags like going off in my brain, like, why would you do this? Uh, just like information that, you know, people are so willing to just hand over. And just the idea that, you know, you're talking to somebody online, but you don't really know. And I'm, cause like, I'm already suspicious, right? Because I know how everything's gonna end. So I'm already like suspicious though, like, do you really know that person on the other end of this chat or whatever, or on that email? And it's just, ah, there's already so much for me, like just red flags and like, like this ominous feeling like, don't do it, don't do it. Um, yeah, so I don't know, man. And, and I didn't realize, I, I guess 
Oh, no, I guess it does say it on the back that this takes place in the early 2000s. So, different time period. Different time period. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Ah! I'm just gonna keep reading. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to quickly say that part two is called What Have You Done Today to Deserve Your Eyes? Wow, wow, Louie. <laughs> so I had to relocate because um, the boys are playing Nintendo. <laughs> so I moved back into here, but um, who that last section, things were escalating. And it's just interesting how you just kind of see this, the beginnings of this like manipulation going on between these two women and it just makes you question like what like and it makes you say like oh I could never do that or I would never do that but do you really know that you couldn't be manipulated like that like because a lot of times if you're being manipulated you don't even know what's happening and I feel like that's what's happening here um it's almost like it's almost like Zoe obviously saw some sort of a slightest little speck of weakness in Agnes and is just latching onto that and it's just really scary because that kind of stuff happens all the time um, and yeah things are things are already getting interesting that's for sure Okay, so I have to, I am about halfway through and I have to take a break because I um, have to make dinner and such for my family. <laughs> but so far, it's good. It's, it, like I said, it makes you, you just feel this sense of like, this is not going to end well. Um, and just how uh, kind of like seamlessly, flawlessly things have gone throughout where to, where we've gotten to the point where we are where you're just like would somebody actually do this and the answer is yes I mean people have so it's like it's it's horror and it's obviously fiction but this kind of stuff people do these kinds of things all the time where from the outside you're like what were you thinking but when you're in it you might have different thoughts about it I guess so uh, yeah, so far, I like it. I don't know where it's gonna go, but we'll find out. I'm sitting in my upstairs hallway because Hunter's in the bathtub, but I'm trying to read this while Leah and Austin are in dance. Well, Leah's at dance. Austin's just taking her. Um, I'm just like, what? What is this? <laughs> it's just so weird. and just like messed up. But I'm not really sure what the point is like what the intent is of this story is it just I don't know there to be weird or is it trying to say something about online relationships friendships whatever uh, is it about how easily some people can be influenced and how quickly because this this time the time frame in this is not long and there's a lot going on in this short amount of time, especially when you look at the amount of time that these two women have actually spent talking to each other, even in their like instant messaging, they're, they talk for, to each other for like 10 minutes at a time. How do you really get to know somebody that way to the point that you would be in this sort of relationship? I don't know. I guess, I guess I have to keep reading to figure it out, but right now I'm just like, why? 
why. probably wasn't the best part to read while eating popcorn or eating anything. I have like 20 pages left and I have no idea how this is gonna end. I mean, I have kind of an idea because of the author's note at the beginning, but I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> done and I don't know whether to laugh, puke, or what, but I'm gonna sleep on it and I'll uh, get back to you guys in the morning. Yeah. So it's the next day and I've had some time to process and now I can kind of give my final thoughts on things have gotten worse since we last spoke. and. I think that, okay, some of the things I liked about this, I, I loved the format of the storytelling. I loved that it was told through emails and um, online chats because uh, it's just it's just different. It's a different way to tell a story. I loved that it also took place in, the, in 2000, I believe, which again made the story more interesting because back then meeting people online and chatting online was a fairly new thing. So... It just, when you're looking at it through a 2021 lens, there's a lot going on in here that you're like, why would you do that? Why would you tell somebody like that sort of information or put yourself out there like that? But again, in 2000, that was, this was, this kind of, this way of meeting people was new, uh, fairly new. So I thought that was kind of smart to put the time period then. Obviously the horror elements in here 
were pretty great, uh, especially if body horror is your thing. You're gonna get some body horror in this story. <laughs> and it took a turn that I was not expecting. I don't see how anyone could have expected what happened to happen. Like, there was no way. It, so, of course, it had that shock value, that crazy, just entertainment, out there sort of value to it. Um, and so that made it good too. But what was like kind of nagging at me as I was reading this was the relationship between the two characters, between Agnes and Zoe. Because everything that happens, especially like initially, uh, happens within like a week. Um, the initial stuff anyway. And to me, it was way, it, it happened way too quickly. Like, uh, and I know like people, people meet and sometimes they just instantly click and just that kind of thing happens. But I also was just, as I was reading this, I just felt like it was unrealistic and just how quickly they kind of um, got that intimate uh, and obviously not physically, they don't meet in person. It's, but that they just offer up so much uh, of themselves <laughs> so, so quickly. It's just, it just ended up making it just too unrealistic for me. And then um, just the <laughs> extremity of it all, is that a word? Made it so that by the end, it was, it was not horrific to me. It was ridiculous. Uh, which is mean to say, but it's just how I felt. I didn't leave this book feeling horrified or feeling like, wow, this was very like profound. I just felt like, wow, this was really gross and really shocking. But I don't know if it really had any other like strong themes um, other than like the horrors or dangers of meeting somebody online uh, and how quickly um, or how easily some people can manipulate others uh, because that happens in real life too, don't get me wrong. Um, so I guess those themes were good um, if you're examining it there. I just feel like it took it too far <laughs> to the point that it was hard to really latch on to those themes because the the shock value of it was just like through the roof so yeah i kind of found myself laughing um and just being like wow that was weird and i don't know i saw so I, I i didn't get as much out of it as i thought was i entertained yes was it disturbing yes um was it a quick read? Absolutely. I would have sat and read this in one sitting, but I, I had to stop halfway through because I had to feed my family <laughs> and stuff and I had no other things to do. But if I could have, I mean, easily, I could have sat and read this in one sitting. Um, but yeah, I just, I guess in the end, uh, even with horror, I want there to be more themes that are grounded in reality. Even if you're surrounded by like supernatural stuff, ghosts and demons and monsters and this and that, I still want the, the basic themes to be very grounded and to really hit home. And for this, it just didn't for some reason. Even though, like I said, those themes that he was touching on were good uh, and important, um, they just didn't hit me the way I wanted them to, I guess because everything else was just so over the top. So uh, so I'm going to probably rate this, I would say a three star because I was entertained, uh, I was disturbed, it was quick read, um, and it, yeah, it was, a, it was, it was, it kind of messed me up a little bit, but in the end, it didn't really do anything profound. And so I just wanted more out of the, the characters and the story. Um, because it didn't quite get there. So yeah, this was a three star. Uh, I am glad I read it. And I would say, if you're curious about it, check it out. 
it's worth checking out, but just know like, yeah, it's kind of intense. It's kind of out there. It's kind of a bit much, um, but it's entertaining. So whew, I'm glad that I uh, took you guys along with me on this little journey. Um, and it was something it really was. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was very impromptu, but there you go. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I'll talk with you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.